Welcome back. Agents journal didn't contain any information we need at the moment, it seems, but it did answer one question. How Savidro managed to get to Tamana. It seems that Catherine reminded Atreus of the existence of this age and convinced Atreus to take a visit here. And well, uh, while doing so, Atreus of course left a linking book behind. Because otherwise this age is quite old, so it probably dates back to uh, the time when Atreus and Catherine were living on mist with uh, their sons. So if there were a linking book here, it would go to mist, not to mana, which hadn't been built yet at that time. And of course I expect that Ceres and Echinar, when leaving here, destroyed the linking book, probably dropping it into the sea or something like that. So Savidro would be trapped here, which uh, indeed he was, according to his journal. Well, let's see. Um, we saw a message, partly from Atreus, but overwritten by Savidro when we pushed this button. Using these three projectors that were closed when we entered the room, we've seen them open before while uh, Savidro was in here, when we could look at him from the elevator. Let's take a look at them up close, now that they are open. Hmm. Looks like they're not just projectors. We look out into um, the outside as well. And it looks like we can manipulate this. That definitely seems to be uh, the crater wall. Outside the tower. What's this symbol though? Is that one of the symbols that we're supposed to look for? I doubt it would be that easy. Oh, that, there's one of the doors in one of the other tusks. It seems that manipulating the image also manipulates the two... Yeah, what are they? Balls? On the edge of the viewer. The outer one is horizontal, and the one beneath that, or inside that, seems to match the vertical movement. So what are the other two for? Hmm. Well, we have two levers here as well. Let's see what they do. Oh, that's zoom. And that seems to be the third of the balls. Can't manipulate the balls directly, or...? No. How about this one? Focus! Well, that makes sense. But what are we supposed to do with this? Hey. That looks an awful lot like the symbol we have on the viewer here. Interesting. That's above the door. Any relevance to that? Maybe something will happen, like the door will open or something. If we line these two up. Or maybe it won't. Who knows? Let's see. It's not entirely the right size this way, so I'm guessing we have to zoom a little bit. That seems to be about right. Looks okay, but the focus is off. There, that seems to match. Nothing happened, though. Maybe we need to do something with the other viewers as well. Assuming they all work the same. This was the blue one, I think. That one was the red one. And it seems to be the same story here. We've got a view of the outside. And some levers. And another symbol. So I wonder... Can we find another... Matching symbol... In the view? Well, that looks like another one of those alcoves on the tusks. I can't see a door here, though. 
Can't really see if there's a symbol in it, but maybe if we zoom in a little bit. At least I'm trying. Uh, just to focus. Yeah, there is in fact another symbol there. And it does seem to match our sphere somewhat. Our sphere. Circle with a thing in it. Not really sure why I call it a sphere. Hmm. Oh, we can't zoom it that way anymore. There. That's not entirely right. There. Seems to be good enough. Still nothing happened. Maybe if we do the third one, it will do something. Or maybe something happened outside that we just haven't seen yet. It's entirely possible. Oh, well, this symbol is easy. It's a bird. Do we have to find matching sounds for those symbols? Like in Riven. There's the alcove. I'm gonna need to zoom in, though. Where's the door? Yeah, door below it. This time we can see it, unlike the previous viewer. And there's the matching bird symbol. Let's see. That seems to be about right, except for the focus. No, oh, that's the wrong way. How about that? Looks okay. Still no obvious signs of anything happening, though. I think we should probably go outside and take a look at those alcoves and doors and stuff from that side. I assume all this was part of the lesson that Atrus prepared here for his sons, and I presume therefore it is part of what Savidro wants us to do right now. Oh, this is open to the outside. It's the window. Neat. So hopefully that will lead us to those symbols that Savidro wants us to find, which I think we need to use with this. Think about it, Savidro really went through the effort of reprogramming that for nothing. Because we didn't know the original symbols anyway. Atris would have, probably, but... We don't. What does this do? Ah, lowers the elevator. Predictable. I assume that means we can go outside now. Or not. Ah! There we go. Okay, close that door first. The stranger was raised well, it seems. Doesn't want to let the draft in. We can go outside here, but I actually want to take a little closer look at the elevator as well. Does this do anything? No. Not while the elevator isn't here. Probably a good thing too, because if it called the elevator, we would have been in trouble. I'll call the elevator back up. Oh, apparently the door doesn't need to close for that. If we change the gears again so the elevator doesn't turn around, we would be able to go out through that door using the elevator now. Uh, 
But that is not what I want to do. Because while we clearly fixed the elevator, and it is turning around now, I didn't yet confirm my hypothesis that it's those pins and those holes we see in the elevator that are responsible for that. And we can probably see that if we erase the elevator from here. Yep. I was right. Well, that's enough playing around with the elevator. Let's take a look outside. We haven't found out what all the stuff in here is for either. Those bowls and the uh, other stuff that's lying here. What's that actually? Did I look at that before? More ink and more bowls. And this stuff with the Venus flytrap or whatever it is. And the floating iron shavings. Is it just stuff the Vidro was doing to pass the time, or does it serve some purpose later? Let's go out through this door. It's not the one we came in through. Let's see what's on this side. I want to take a closer look at those doors in the tusks. There should be one up there. It's not the only one. There's one there too, and one that's, I think, on the other side of the main tower from here. So that one's closest, so let's go there. And let's see. We'll climb up here. Very good. And further. There's the door. And there's the alcove. Now this is the one with the bird symbol. By the looks of it, it's very faint, but it does appear to resemble the bird. And anyway, this matches what we saw through the viewer. But somebody forgot to build a bridge here. Maybe we can crawl along the edge here if the game would let us, but it doesn't. Okay. What's the purpose of that door if we can't get to it? We can go up and get to the other door from here, it looks like. Go around that side of the island. Oh, there's the fur tusk. Well, I want to see if there's anything we can do with this door first. See if there's anything we missed down here. Like this giant flower. That is a huge flower. Looks like we can look through it. Oh, I see. It amplifies the sounds. This is the whistling rock we saw in the subtitles before. We can also listen to the lagoon water. Let's see if there's any other sounds. Not down here, it seems. Ocean wind. Nice and calming. Bridge creaking. I don't like the ocean wind. Well, that's nice, but it doesn't appear to get us any closer to that door. This looks like it's too smooth to climb as well. Hmm. Anything else we missed? There's something there. Somebody built a tent. Ah, it is the home of some critter. 
it seems. Hi there, little fella. Is this like in Riven I need to call you five times and then something happens? Doesn't look like it. Doing the same thing every time. Seems a little bit shy. What else is here? A flower! And some other plant in a the rock there. Looks like we can do something with the flower. Oh. Can I undo that? No. Sorry, little guy, we um, ruined your flower or something. I hope you don't mind. Interesting. It ran to the plant, and look. It seems the sound that creature makes inflates the plant. And according to the subtitles, these are squee chirps. So this creature is actually called a squee. I wonder if it's related to the space hamster. It's certainly just as cute. I wonder. This plant here kind of looks very similar to the plants that are up there. So if we expose them to this sound, maybe they will inflate as well, giving us access to the door. Let's try that. Oh, and it looks like I forgot to turn zip mode off. I'm not going to use that. Allows you to skip certain locations, but that's no fun. Let's see, can we catch the sound of the squee? Yes, we can! And indeed, it has the effect we hoped for. Man, that is loud. Well, let's hope uh, the squee doesn't stop chirping while we're walking across this, because that would end badly. This plant is actually called barnacle moss, in case you were interested. Which you probably weren't, but still. And indeed, it allows us to get to the door. So, thank you, little guy. I wonder if he's native here. We haven't seen any other uh, animal life on this island. Well, the door wasn't locked. Maybe that's what uh, aligning the symbols did. It unlocked the door. Or not, I don't know. And it's a very green room. Green light, green floor. Wait a second, wasn't... Wasn't this the green viewer? Is that coincidence? The green beam for the projector, I mean? I wonder, I'll have to pay attention to that with the others as well, see if they are also color matched. And it looks like there is something in here, some kind of structure, kind of looks similar to the egg in the main tower. And could that be a book? But how do we get to it? I guess we'll have to find that out in the next video.